My name is Emily Fournoel Oge of Let Us Farm. You are welcome to uh, a very important topic we want to discuss today. Yeah, we want to discuss about how many times do you change water in your catfish farm? So before we proceed, first of all, let me remind us in case this is the first time you are seeing me. This is Let Us Farm page and all we do here is we try to discuss practical solutions to our agri problems. All these services we are providing to you they are free what we are trying to achieve is just to help you to avoid you making same mistakes that we did before so remember i'm not selling anything some people actually come through me that they want to buy um juvenile fingerlings because of my videos if you need that i will direct you to my supplier i don't have so i will supply direct you and the person will attend to you not me so anyone that is uh, telling you that we are forming a WhatsApp group, WhatsApp page for anything, hear it from me now. We are not. Do not give your number to anybody to add you to any Let Us Farm WhatsApp group. We don't have anything like that. All we discuss, we discuss it here. Then please, like I sent, I said you can do a two to three minutes video and send to 0813534809. Please, I want to beg, don't call. Just send me a message. I will respond to your messages, please. The, the issue is that, you know, because the service is free, so everybody calls, even people call midnight. It's not really the best. You can't be calling me midnight. So just send me a message and I will try as much as possible, which people can testify. I've always responded. So please just do that so that we can always... Uh, be there for one another. So like I said, today we are discussing of how many times do you change water in your pond and why? Why do you need to stick to this timing? Right. We shall be right back to discuss this. You can see this water in this pond now is dirty. It needs changing. And this is part of the reasons we change water in the pond. This is a method we use in etting pond sometimes, we call it flow through, where you are allowing water to enter and water discharges. It's part of a way of changing water in the etting pond. You can do this or you do total pumping out of water and pumping in of fresh clean water. Yeah, welcome back. So back to the topic of discourse today, how many times do you need to change water in your farm and why? So I'll be taking these questions and I'll be answering it in a way that we may understand. First of all, water changing in the pond is very necessary, especially when you are using surface pond. I will explain this. What do I mean by surface pond? Surface pond are ponds that are up, like your tapolin pond, your concrete pond, your bath, your tanks. They are all surface ponds because they are up. So when we talk about ground pond, we talk about the earthen pond. Then some people can even construct block under the earth and they, they dig the ground and put block and everything and use that as uh, this thing. So now, there are different methods of changing water. Now, let me start with the earthen pond. If you're on earthen pond, it's advisable, it's ideal for you to change water at least once a month. Now, some farmers don't even change water for six, seven months or eight months, ten months in an eating pond, and they are still achieve results. The reason why they have those results you are looking at is not because they are not changing water, it's because the soil itself has what you call water purification system. That is why when you pour water on the ground, if you allow that water for some hours, go there, you discover that the water settles on its own and looks very clean. It is God that did that. It's not any human being that operates that. that. So when you have waste on this water, it purifies by itself and makes that waste to look clean and be clean to whatever is inside. Now, in the eating pond, sometimes if you don't change water, you may run into crisis, especially when you have stagnant pond. That's what I mean by stagnant pond. There are some ponds that... Etting pond, the place is just swampy, but water doesn't come out from the ground very well. 
And then you now have many fishes on that particular surface. You now come to that point sometimes. You see them, they have thick black color. That point, the water purification system is trying, but it's getting, being overloaded because of what you have inside that particular pump. Necessary. It is good. You pump out the water and then pop in the wa- and a fresh one. I have a videos on my pages where I actually showed how you change water successfully in your earthen pond. But you can also use your pumping machine to draw out the water and then pump in a clean one. That should be done at least once every month. Now, like I said, earthen pond depends on sites and locations. There are some earthen ponds that every time the pond is getting over full because they have enough water coming out from ground. Such type of ponds doesn't need you to always change the water system because the water on its own is like it's recycling every time. Even you will have to be reducing your water content in such ponds. But any of your ponds, any of your earthen pond that is a stagnant earthen pond that doesn't turn up water like that, doesn't have inlet and outlet, it is very wise that you always change your water at least once a month. When you do that, you discover that you increase the health of your fish. Then the growth of your fish speeds up more than those who don't change theirs. This is correct. Because eating pond doesn't mean that all of them have the same uh, soil and water texture. That's not correct. So now, let's move to the surface pond. Like I said, surface pond, we have the tapolin pond. We have the concrete pond. And we have people that use tanks and others. They are all surface ponds. Now, the issue about surface pond is this. Because it doesn't have any place where water enters at all, except maybe rain and the one that you pour inside. And then you now have things living inside and discharging waste. If you don't know, your fishes discharge waste. Because anything that collects food or eats something, if it digests, it must go out. So your fishes actually discharge waste. The more they are, the more waste products they discharge. Now, when they discharge this waste, because they are living inside the same water that they discharge this waste, it becomes toxic to them when it is too much. Depending on what you have in your pond, why I'm saying this like this is that some of us, they have this idea of stocking you stock more than this uh, density of a pond, imagining nonsense that never comes to reality. So when you now have too much fish in a particular pond, you now know that it means that the fishes always will get this water very, very constantly and very fast. It becomes a problem to your fishes when you see this kind of death in the pond. Now, the only solution is that you need to change the water more often. But there is the problem. Some say it is better you change water every day. Well, believe whatever you want, but that's not ideal. Each time you change water, you are stressing the fish. Each time you change water, you are stressing the fish. So every day you change water, you are taking out stress on the fish, which is not the best. No matter the the language you use to uh, try to justify it, it's not good to change water every day the best you can do is every two days that is the reason why you need to always stock your fish based on the capacity of a pond there is no magic over stocking because you just believe check people that have done this over stocking check people that are doing all this every day change of i compare their results it can't be like that these things they need sleep they need rest as a matter of fact, if it were possible, my advice is once you set up your pond, always go there twice in a day when you want to feed in the morning and when you want to feed later. Every time you are constantly going there, you are disturbing them because they are on the life of their own. Yes, some people like to watch it as leisure. Take a safe distance and watch as leisure. No problem. But always coming close, moving up and down, Yes, I understand. You see, when you have investment, you all like to be close to your investment and things like that. But you watch each time you go, you make them start moves to change water every day. 
it is not advisable. If you are doing this, you are weakening the fishes, you are stressing them out by that, your water, constant water change. The best ideal situation is change your water every two days, maximum of every three days, once you are using surface pond. And if you are on eating pond, at least once every month, change your water, especially when you have a stagnant pond. But if you have a pond that water is excess in it, coming out and all these things, you don't need to bother about that water change. Because automatically, the water that comes out always do the job for you. So what you have to be worried, what we have to worry about is the excess water that comes out from the ground level. I don't know whether I have made it for you to understand exactly what we are talking about. But if you don't understand and you have any questions about this, kindly drop it in the comment section. And like I said, if you have any worries, simply do a two to three minute video and send it to 081-353-48909. If, and remember, we don't form any WhatsApp group. We're not asking you for anything. All we do here is free of service. So until I come your way next time, I remain yours. Well, okay, and maybe for family. Family is a